Holy crap, guys, look at all these awesome Christmas trees. I know you are all so excited to see the Christmas videos, and so am I. In fact, I already filmed one in here that's gonna be posted very soon. Hello, mister. Are you ready for Christmas with your carrot nose? But it's not quite time yet. First, we need to do Thanksgiving. Look at this giant guy. Next week, my friend, next week. make our way over to the groceries because tonight that's where we're gonna begin now traditionally you get an enormous frozen turkey and you stick it in the oven however we are gonna do it this time much easier you usually go over to the deli but I see they already have a bunch that is sliced here so we're gonna look at this I think this is the kind that I want right here this is oven roasted turkey and this looks like it would work perfect this kind would probably work as well but if you look at it this is gonna taste more like what you want turkey to taste like just you can tell by the texture this is more of a texture of like ham so I think this is what I want here it's sliced pretty thin but we can use two slices per roll if we want to so I'm gonna go ahead and get one two I'm gonna get three packs of this that should be good. So the next thing we need is stovetop stuffing. Luckily at Thanksgiving they always have all kinds of stuff like this sitting out in the middle of the aisle. So what we're going to get here is chicken stuffing mix. And we're going to get a twin pack because we want to make a lot. Now I believe we have butter at home but I'm going to get some more just in case. We're going to get Kerrygold because we love this butter. We also need gravy, so we're going to get two jars of this kind right here, classic chicken. We're also going to need one of these, however, those are pretty small. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, here we go. The big one right here. Definitely got to have a big one for a big pie. We need a two-pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. One of these. Oh, we can't forget the Ready Whip. And I believe we have everything else we need for this stuff at home. Now, I looked online, and they only had it available online. They didn't show that it was available in this store. But I'm going to scan through these movies real quick, just in case, because you never know. A lot of times they put out, like, these special editions just with a new cover. And you never know what you might find in here. So let's just look through really quick here. See if we can find, here's a Christmas, okay, no, that's not it. <laughs> it's a Christmas special collection, but it's not on there. So, all right, let's see. Oh, this is cool. Look at the cover for this Christmas story. That's awesome. And they did the same thing with the Grinch and with Christmas Vacation. We'll come back to the Christmas movies later, though, at another date. Um, okay, look, they have the Christmas, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Dang, I like that cover. That is awesome. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, look, here we go. Deluxe Holiday Edition of the Peanuts. And they have it. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. All right, we'll take it. Oh my gosh, look at all these. I cannot wait to do Christmas movies. Okay, keep moving. In fact, I already have the other two that are on here. So maybe I'll just go on Amazon and rent this one for like three bucks. And holy crap, look what I see, guys. Die Hard on 4K for $12.96. We are definitely watching this tonight. All right, so we have a gorgeous, beautiful woman sitting over here who's going to be observing from afar as I make our delicious pre-Thanksgiving dinner. 
I have got everything set out, guys, including this 4K diehard that I'm so excited to have. The only thing I'm not excited about with this is that the cover should have been so much better. That should have been in, like, pure color. So, we have everything laid out here that we need for our turkey rolls, but we're going to save those and do those last. We have to do our pie first, and the pie is actually going to be a pumpkin cheesecake, a two-layer pumpkin cheesecake that looks exactly like that, but we're not going to go with this recipe. On the back of this Keebler paper, there's a recipe here, but we're actually going to be using a different recipe, which I will put below. The recipe we're actually going to be using is from the Philadelphia brand. I think it's actually Kraft, and it's called Philadelphia Three-Step Double Layer Pumpkin Cheesecake, and it's delicious. I've made it for the past, I don't know how many years, absolute killer pie. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what we need here, guys. I'm going to put the recipe below so you can make it. It is so simple. And then I'm just going to roll the camera while I make this. And then I'll come back and tell you more of the instructions because we have to bake it and chill it. So the first thing we need is the pie crust. Now this is just the easiest way to do it. This is a graham cracker pie crust. This is from Keebler. You saw me buy it in the store. The next thing we need is a two pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. And when you buy this, leave it out so it can get softened up. Do not stick it in the fridge. You want it to sit out and get room temperature so that it is soft and easy to blend. Then we need a can of 100% pumpkin. I bought Libby's, but you can use great value. It's just as good. We need regular sugar, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, and vanilla extract. I'm actually cheating and using vanilla flavoring because I bought a box of vanilla extract and it turned out to have almond extract in the box. Somebody pulled a switcheroo and I hate them for it. You're also gonna need two bowls and a mixer. And there goes one of my mixing thingies. Okay, now that pie will stay in there for 40 minutes at least on 325.
right guys, there it is. Look at that. We are getting ready to chow down and watch Die Hard. Here is our pie. It's still chilling. It has a little ways to go yet, but that thing is gonna be so delicious when it's done. Okay guys, there it is, our delicious Thanksgiving dinner before Thanksgiving, because we all know that Thanksgiving is not for like another week or something. <laughs> but this is our chance to say to you, Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And now we get to take a bite and taste test this. Oh, it's so good. If you guys make this, make sure that you do not bake your uh, rolls for too long. 15, 20, 25 minutes max, because otherwise the turkey will dry out. Mm. So, you ready, love? Mm-hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna sit down and eat, watch Die Hard, and as soon as that pie is done chilling, or the cheesecake, whatever you wanna call it, we will show you that, and we will take a taste test just for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that double layer pumpkin cheesecake. Look at that, you can see both layers of it. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to dig into this. Yeah, look at that. How amazing is that? Let's get some Ready Whip on here. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. All right, let's have a little taste. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take long to eat that whole pie. Mm. Mm -hmm. So easy to make. Best pie I've ever had in my life. One more. Mm -hmm. mm. Stay tuned because next week we start the Christmas movies.